Hi, I'm Kelly Cartwright, London Paralympic gold and silver medalist. The first Paralympic Games were held in Rome in 1960. The Games is the largest event held for people with both physical and intellectual disabilities. The word Paralympic is a combination of Olympics and parallel, which means they run side by side. The Games is exactly the same as the Olympics, only the elite athletes have a disability. In my case, I was diagnosed with a rare form of cancer when I was 15. The doctors gave me a choice whether to have my leg amputated or radical surgery. I chose amputation for my best chance of survival. Now I'm going to take you through a day in the life of a Paralympian, and I've only got five minutes, so let's get to it. I normally climb out of bed at 6am because a lot of athletes train early each morning. With my busy schedule, I like to get up even earlier than that, but there's sometimes a big difference between what I like and what really happens. As athletes, we have to be very careful and strict as to what foods we put into our bodies. We like to keep it simple and fresh, see clear of anything processed and eat plenty of nutritious foods which help fuel our day. After that, it's off to training. By 9 o'clock we're training. The intensity can vary from day to day. For example, on a tough day, I would do three complete sessions, starting with gym in the morning, then a session on the track, and another gym session later in the day. Paralympians do the same work as Olympians. Whether it's weights in the gym or sprints on the track, we train just as hard, if not harder than anyone. Each Paralympian alters their training exercises to suit their physical abilities. After gym, it's straight to recovery to the chilled pool where it's 14 freezing degrees. And then we take protein to help our muscles recover. We train until it hurts and then we train some more. We are elite athletes and we train to win. And personally, I don't like losing. Our goal is to compete against the world's best and beat them. Our whole lives are geared to getting the best out of ourselves, pushing it to the max day in, day out. On a normal day by 1pm, or even earlier, we're thinking of food again. Lunch is an important meal for an athlete. It's part of their recovery from their morning training session, but also helping to prepare them for future training sessions. It's so important to have a balance in sport and life. For me, every day is different. I could be on a plane to Sydney to see my prosthetist, who is modifying my carbon blade to help me go faster, or I could be talking to students or other groups at the VIS about my story. Later in the afternoon, I'll put in another long session, this time on the track. However, as we get closer to competition, we tend to taper back to ensure our bodies are fresh and ready to compete. This is when I'll drop one of my daily sessions. After 5 p.m., unless I'm competing, my time is my own, and I like to kick back and relax with friends. It's a really important meal because it contains key nutrients that I might have missed out on earlier in the day and it recharges me for tomorrow. But when I relax with friends, in the back of my mind is the thought that I can't play too hard at night. I'm an athlete 24 hours a day, 7 days a week because I'm a Paralympian and I know how good it feels to perform at my best. I also know it starts again at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. VIS TV.